Greetings everyone, Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Insta360 GO 3 to your Mac. And also I'm gonna show you how to exit the U-Disk mode safely, which is very important to do that. The reason you should do that safely is you, do, you don't want to corrupt your files and you don't want to damage your camera. So you have to exit the U-Disk mode safely. Also, if you wanna see this interesting skin, I did a video how you apply this interesting vinyl skin to Insta360 GO 3. Make sure you watch the video here or here and also check the video in the descriptions down below, also in the pinned comment. Pretty interesting skin. I think this looks pretty good, but again, this is a different video. And now let me show you how to connect the Insta360 GO 3 to your Mac first. So the included cable that came in the box, type C, so connect the type C to the type C port on the Insta360 GO 3. The other part is the USB. You connect that to your Mac. Okay, now it's connected. And we have a light that means that it's charging. Now you have to turn on the Insta360 GO 3. So you press the button here, you hold. And your camera should be on now, as you can see. So in order to go to the uh, U-Disk mode, as you can see, automatically, or you can swipe from the right side to go to uh, USB mode. So we have two options. We have the U-Disk mode and we have charging only. If you wanna charge your Insta360 only, just press the charging only. Or if you want to transfer files, then press the U-Disk mode. And now let me show you how to do that. So press the U-Disk mode. And as you can see, we have a option here, means that the Insta360 GO 3 is safely connected to our Mac. I'm gonna show you the icon now. So this is U-Disk mode. And now let's go to the computer now, let's go to the Mac. So on the right side, as you can see here, we have Insta360 GO 3. This is the icon, means that this is connected safely. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the Insta360 GO 3, we're gonna click two times. We have two folders. So the first folder is gonna be the folder that all your files will be recorded here when you record videos on the Insta360. Go 3. So open the first folder. And as you can see, you have all your videos here. If you own a, if you like to copy some of the videos to your Mac, so you select the videos that you like and just transfer the files directly to uh, your Mac. So for example, I'm gonna choose, let's choose this one for example. And as you can see now, this file is connected to, is uh, copied to my Mac, which is pretty good. Now, the fun part is how to exit the U-Disk mode safely. So, first thing you should not do is don't remove the cable from here or directly from the computer here. Don't move the cable. In order to remove the U-Disk mode safely is First, go to the Insta360 GO 3 icon here, right click, and then you have to eject the Insta360 GO 3, so click on eject. And now this is being ejected safely. And now the other thing to do, which is very important is, again, don't remove the cables again switch off the Insta360 GO 3 and now as you can see the Insta360 GO 3 it's off and now you safely can remove the cables from the computer as you can see the cable is removed the cable is removed and as you can see now this is the safe way to remove the Insta360 GO 3 from your computer. 
if you're using the U disk mode, this is the safest way. So there we have it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Follow this option if you don't want to, let's say, corrupt your files or break your camera. This is the easiest way to remove the uh, Insta360 from your computer. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.